Hi, Joanna Hodorowska here, Nutrition in Motion, Nutrition for Body, Mind, Spirit, and Sport. So I have a lot of athletes that I work with, and this, and they're always looking for tips and tricks on how to recover after their events so that they can actually walk the next day. Um, but if you're like one of my clients who did a 31-mile trail run, walking sideways down the stairs is probably still going to be part of the routine the day after just because it's a long event. So here are some of the things that I would suggest in terms of what to do to speed up recovery. So the night after your event, you want to take, I know this is backwards, but you want to take your Epsom salts. You want to take that, put them in a bath and soak in them because the Epsom salts have magnesium and that helps the muscles to, to relax. Another thing that most people don't think about is raw apple cider vinegar. So you want to get the raw unpasteurized with the mother on the bottom and you're going to take some of this and some is usually a teaspoon pour it into a big glass of water uh, and that's my measuring um, eyeball technique Dr and drink that probably three times a day so it's something where this helps to alkalize the body and it helps to flush out those we're not going to call them toxins, but it's going to flush out that lactic acid. It's going to flush things out of the system. So you want to drink your raw apple cider vinegar and water. And depending on how long the, the, the event is, you still want to continue with your electrolytes because sometimes all that cramping and tightness is actually the calcium and magnesium that is... Um, and, uh, and some of the sodium so that everything's tightened up. So you might still be dehydrated and the raw apple cider vinegar with water helps, but the electrolytes also will help. You don't necessarily need the calories, but you need the um, but you need the the electrolytes, um, and maybe for an, the that day and the next day. And my last thing that I would say is not a food item; it is essential oils. And I love using lemongrass with Aroma Touch. They're both doTERRA oils. Those are my two favorite ones. When I have muscle and muscle aches, um, I remember even from uh, shoveling the snow last year. I was out there for two hours shoveling, and I had cross-country ski for two hours, which I hadn't done in a long time. My shoulders hurt, my back ached, and I would just rub the two of these together and with this deep blue and put them all three, two, two drops of each, across, um, across my back, across my shoulders, and it would just melt the, the aches and pains away. So I would suggest actually doing all those things. And if you don't do all those things, your recovery will just be longer. Oh, one more important thing. The body recovers in a state of alkalinity. So the raw apple cider vinegar helps with that. And guess what the other thing does? The raw green vegetables. So you want to include your cruciferous vegetables because and all green vegetables are actually alkalizing. So... Uh, cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, um, what else is there? Those are the main ones, but those are all um, anti-inflammatory. So you want to keep those in and, and add those on, the, on those recovery days just to help with recovery. So if you have any questions, give me a call. Joanna Hodorowska, Nutrition in Motion, www.nutritioninmotion.net. Nutrition for body, mind, spirit, and sport.